Hey there, everybody. This is BHP090808 over at xdadevelopers.com. I'm going to give a brief video tutorial on how my three-way one-click tool works for routing and installing customer recovery on your AT&T Galaxy S4 i337. We're going to use my buddy's S4 here for demonstration purposes. First step, I'm going to go to Menu Settings. I'm going to go to Developer Options. We're going to make sure USB debugging is enabled. Also, if you want to go to Security, Make sure unknown sources, I always check unknown sources just to be safe. It's not absolutely necessary, but doesn't hurt. Next step, make sure you're using the cord that came with your phone. A lot of people have reported issues using other USB cables, but the one coming with your actual Galaxy S4, never had a problem with. So, now that everything's enabled on their phones turned on, also make sure you have no lock patterns or security codes to access your phone through your lock screen, so that will also cause issues. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plug this into the computer here. All right, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that updated drivers are installed. I use Samsung Kai's to get the most up-to-date drivers and they've always worked well for me. Okay, next you're gonna to go to the download link, link in the original thread, which is posted below if you're watching this on YouTube. We're gonna download the three-way tool and we're gonna extract it on the desktop. You're gonna open it up and you're gonna see this. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to you see Run Me. Double click that and there's the tool. Very, very simple to use. Everything's numbered for your choice. If you want to visit the thread, if you want to root or install Clockwork Mod by Shabby Penguin, or if you want to install TWRP right here by Destroy. Okay, so first step is we're going to hit the 2 button for root. Going to bring up all the information here from DJR Bliss. Thank you very much for this wonderful exploit. We're going to hit enter to begin. And if you look down at your phone, most of you are going to see this right here. I would check for always allow on this computer if you ever need to run it again and click OK. And now the exploit is going to run. If you look down again, we're going to get that message for Google. I always hit decline on that. It says it's done. We're going to hit enter. This should reboot your phone at this point. All right, we're gonna open this bad boy up. Scroll over and you're gonna see super user is installed on the phone. All right, I always do recommend going into the Play Store and downloading Super SU. Uh, once you install Super SU, it'll automatically give you the option to go ahead and delete the original super user app. Super SU, in my opinion, has been working much better, but this does get you rooted, all right? Now that we have root access, we're going to go back to the tool and you're going to decide which recovery you'd like to install. We've got the Clockwork Mod Touch or the TWRP, Team Win Recovery. We're going to go ahead and choose Clockwork Mod for now, so you're going to choose option 3. Hit enter. It's going to bring us up this little screen here. Press enter to continue. Alright, that's going to reboot your phone into recovery. And there we are. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to go to reboot.
When you go to reboot in these recoveries, you're going to see the option root access possibly lost fix. I've always chosen no, and I've never had a problem. Some people say they have chosen yes and also not had a problem, but just from my experience, I always choose no and never have any issues. <clears throat> All right, while we're waiting for it to boot up some troubleshooting, guys, if for some reason the tool's not recognizing your phone, make sure to try to re-download your drivers using Kai's. Also try rebooting your PC, or make sure to use a different USB port. And as I do recommend, make sure you're using the cable that came with your phone. All right, so now we're rooted. We have custom recovery installed, but let's say you change your mind, you decide you want to use TWRP. We're gonna go right back to the tool. Everything's still connected. We'll choose option four. For install Team Win Recovery. All right, it's going to reboot into Team Win Recovery. And there it is. All right, and from here, we're going to go ahead and reboot. You'll get the same message here. Root permissions appear to be lost. Fix root permissions. As with the other one, I always pick do not fix. And I've never had an issue. And the nice thing about this tool is if you like to flip-flop back and forth between your recoveries, you can plug your phone in at any time, choose the option for the recovery you want, and then just select it. So let's say we want to go back to Clockwork Mod, which my personal preference is Clockwork Mod, but everybody has their own preference. So we're going to go ahead and flash Clockwork Mod again. Now the only difference between the video I just showed you and the tool you'll download in the download link is there is an extra step in the more updated tool, which I was too lazy to download, and there is a step called prep for recovery, which you'll want to run immediately after rooting before you flash either recovery. And what that's going to do is that's actually going to give you the ability to remove certain files that have caused issues with the custom recovery. Um, once it removes those files, you won't see any of issues that people have been complaining about in the thread if you actually do read through it. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Short, simple, easy. If you like this tool, feel free to hit the thanks button and hope this made somebody's life easier. You guys have a great day.